You replay it every day. I mean, there's, you know, there isn't a day goes past when you don't replay it. Um, it's life changing. And uh, it's one of those things, it's, it, it's happened. We've got to try and deal with it. Um, and uh, it's difficult. Must have been terrifying. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I think the fact that an Englishman's home is his castle, and uh, you know you don't expect that sort of thing at home. Um, it shouldn't happen at home, and uh, but it has happened, and uh, and now you don't have a safe area. We just finished eating, um, and and the door went. Kate had just sat down, um, and you know I, it, look, it all happened so quickly. It all happened so quickly that there was there was no time to do anything. My initial thing is how do I protect Kate, but there was no chance of even, you know, even moving there. Um, I never even got off the sofa and, and, you know, before I had a taser in my throat and, and, and everything else. So, look, there were, I, I replay it time and time again in my head. I don't feel as though I could have done anything different than I did. Um, you know, you'd, you'd all like to be have a go heroes and you know we watch crime watch and that sort of thing and see everybody on tv you know and they all say i would have done this and i would have done that and i would have done everything else well the reality is that when it actually happens um and i'm quite a quick thinker um you don't get time to do anything were you just thinking about staying alive well, no question no question but i look um it then transpires that um uh, we know how far they were prepared to go um, from a later from a later scenario, but at the time, it, it's you're almost in a bubble. It's so surreal you don't realise you know what's going on. Um, and I didn't realise you know the severity of what was going to happen until I got hit, and then uh, then obviously um, you know I was I would, I'm quite happy to. You know, I'm quite happy for them to hit me, but I wouldn't have wanted them to have hit Kate. So, um, you know, I then focused all my attention on the fact that, you know, they needed to target me and not Kate. She was tied up by that time anyway, so. I feel that obviously when we were twinned as part of a, a murder inquiry by the same gang, um, that um, perhaps stuff took on a different a different level of meaning, uh, which is understandable. Um, and also when it was transferred to Kent um, and, and you know, was put pretty much in charge of, of Shelley Chandler, the, the, the standard of, of information given to us, uh, as much as we could have helped them, they've helped us. And I don't feel that Kate and I could have got through it without Shelley's help and, and the help of all at Kent Police. It's just been absolutely fantastic it's been it, look it's been an ongoing thing all year it's been at the back of my mind I haven't been able to concentrate completely on on my job at hand um, and that's shown by the, an odd target here and there um, slipping away and, and and the fact that you know I've come up just short in a lot of a lot of places where I would like to think that I may have gone on um, but here we are Kate and I have the opportunity of rebuilding our lives, whereas the Blackman family have, have you know, lost their father and they've got no chance. So for me, you know, we've got an opportunity, whereas they haven't. And they've been in court every day. I take my hat off to them. To listen to the evidence um, that's been given about their father is, you know, is a, is a shows tremendous courage and, uh, you know, it's uh, a full credit to the family.